What's up, collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. I have reached my 5,000 subscriber limit. Now I'm trying to get to 20,000, so I'm asking everybody to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Um, check out the other videos that I have posted and go over there and um, thumbs up those videos too. And if you're interested in a personal reading, all you have to do is inbox me and we go from there. The personal readings are $25 for 15 minutes or more. I really don't, um, I really don't watch the time. Okay. It goes, sometimes my readings go past 15 minutes and I do extra just for $25. So if you're interested in a personal reading, you can inbox me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. Now the energy that, um, that may come out in this reading collective. I need you to know that this could be your energy. This could be the person that you're dealing with energy. This could be your ex's energy. This could be your ex's ex, okay? This could be a baby mama, a baby daddy. This could be a family member. This could be a coworker. Um, this could be your supervisor or this could be a neighbor, okay? This could be anyone that's in your energy, someone that you recently... Um, came in contact with someone that could be coming towards you or this could have happened in the past okay so i need you to please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy so only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest if it don't fit don't force it just relax and let this go okay so somebody's ex karmic is getting karma mm -hmm. this is somebody they don't want you to cut them off. Okay? They don't want you to cut them off. Now, either they don't want you to cut them off or they don't want you to cuss them out or they don't want to hear no harsh words from you. This is your ex. Okay? Some of you are gifted. Okay? You either are gifted or you have a gift coming to you. A gift is in your energy. Okay? So, Holy Spirit, show me the energy surrounding my collective. What is the energy surrounding the collective? Oh, somebody is coming with an apology. But this could be a false apology. This could be somebody apologizing to you and you're not accepting their apology. Or this could be somebody who you believe owe you an apology and they haven't apologized to you yet. Okay. Okay, Spirit, show me what is the energy surrounding this apology for the collective. Somebody is sick. So somebody may want to apologize to you. You may not want to accept their apology. This person could be in the hospital. Or this person could be, uh, if you didn't accept their apology, they could be sick at the fact that you're not accepting their apology. Okay? Or this person could be sick in the hospital and giving you a fake apology. Okay? Take it where it resonates. For some of you, this is a divine masculine. Or it's a divine masculine looking at someone in the hospital. Okay? Do me more. The divine masculine could be looking at someone in the hospital and this person didn't apologize to this masculine. And uh, he could be feeling some type of way or he could be wanting to apologize to somebody, but they're in the hospital and he can't apologize. And this could be somebody he's in a relationship with. Okay. Some sort of secrets. Here's a house in reverse. Here's a message. Somebody or something from another city or state returning. And somebody didn't expect it. So somebody is sick in the hospital. Somebody has came back from somewhere. They didn't this masculine. He didn't expect for somebody to return back. Okay. Somebody may be sick in, in the hospital and, and they don't have nowhere to go after they get out the hospital. Um, somebody could be in a hospital that's in another city or state. And they they uh they may be returning back to their original city or state, but they have nowhere to go with this home in reverse. Or this could also mean for some of you, this masculine is, has his back turned to a home that's upside down where it was a lot of chaos and conflict going on in his home. So this masculine has his back turned to it. Okay. This masculine has this back turned to this house because he's focused on somebody in the hospital. 
Now, this person in the hospital, um, they could be apologizing. This masculine could be apologizing to somebody in the hospital since he has this rose in his hand. And with these nine roses right here and he got the tenth, this could mean that something is over between somebody. It could mean a death, an ending or something. It's nine roses and it's a ten here. So it's something coming to an end. Somebody could be uh, ending a relationship with somebody in the hospital and they're, they're apologizing. Somebody could be in the hospital um, and they didn't say that they were sick. They didn't tell. It was a secret. It's a secret what they have or a sickness that they have. And this could have started a, a, a bunch of chaos and conflict in a home. There's no more, you know, chilling in your house and happy family and all of this because it's a secret going on. And somebody is not expecting something to do with a secret. They didn't, somebody didn't expect for somebody to hold secrets, to keep secrets from them in their relationship. Somebody could have found out that somebody was texting somebody else, calling somebody else. Holding secrets, sending love messages to somebody else. So if they're apologizing to you, then you're feeling like this is a fake-ass apology. Or you feel this person is, is apologizing, you don't want to accept this apology. Okay. Okay, Spirit, show me more energy coming towards the collective. And I'm asking everybody to please hit that thumbs up button for me. Don't just sit in here and get all of the readings and all of that and, and don't hit the thumbs up. Don't do that. That is not cool. That is not cool. I want everybody to hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like my channel, then don't, don't come here. Don't sit and listen to the energy that I'm telling you and then you don't put no likes. We over here, we need them likes. Okay, it helps my messages get out to around the rest of the world. So I need you all to hit that thumbs up button. I love you and I need you to love me back. Okay. Now, show me the karmic energies. Graveyard dirt. Series of misfortune. This could be why somebody is in the hospital. They could have been doing some sort of graveyard spells. They could have been frauding people. Feeling lost without you. So this person, whoever this energy is that's around you, um, they're having a series of misfortune. Either they're being frauded or they're frauding somebody. It's graveyard dirt out here. Why is the graveyard dirt here? Now, if the, this house is upside down, this could be why the graveyard dirt out here. Somebody could be, you know, sending a complex spell to your home. Whoever this person is, they're sick. They could be short. They could have a bald head. Sex only and no love. Spirit, show me more. What are the secrets? Okay, Spirit, what are the secrets? Somewhere, somebody going somewhere. Somebody secretly moving on. Secret about a privileged lady. A mature man. Show me the energy of the secrets. What is the secrets? What are the secrets? Blockages. Somebody is secretly trying to create blockages for you. It could be they could be secretly trying to hold up some court paper. It could be divorce paper, real estate paper, custody, criminal paperwork, documents, or something. Somebody is trying to create blockages. Clarify the blockages with a child. Something to do with a child. The child could be blocking somebody. This could be a stepchild of yours or this could be your own natural child. Um, maybe somebody is out there not talking to their child. Maybe somebody's child is homeless. 
Maybe somebody's child is going through something with their person secretly and not telling you. This child could be 18 years old. Could be a daughter. This child could be 28 years old. 21. She could be 19. 26 years old. Okay. Somebody is moving though. It's too much chaos and conflict with this house being upside down. Somebody's child moved out and they're not talking to them. That's what it is. Okay, so for some of you, somebody's child, your child moved out. Either you're not speaking to her or she's not speaking to you, but she moved. Okay? Maybe she turned 18 and said it's time for a change and she want to grow up. And she put an ending to all of this, whatever that was going on. She could be a Scorpio energy. Okay? Tell me more about this child. And this child, if, if she's in reverse, um, she not be she may not be talking to you right now. Okay? She may not be talking to you or you may not be talking to her. Here's a mature man. This is somebody who who uh he you can't tell him shit. He know more than anybody. He didn't travel the world, he didn't been there and done that, he didn't read every book, he didn't watch every television program. He has a lot of bright ideas. You can't tell him nothing. Now this could be your father, this could be um, an attorney, this could be, um, your person, they could be five years older than you, or you could be five years older than them. This could be the person who's apologizing to you. Okay. We have the community out here and a bridge that someone don't want to cross, but they're going to have to cross that bridge. Now, whatever the bridge is, they, this, oh, okay. Okay. So for some of you, this is a, a apology. Somebody don't want to apologize to you, but they have to. Mm-hmm. They secretly don't want to apologize to you. And they wouldn't expect them that they have to apologize to you. God damn. Fake ass apology. They didn't expect that they had to apologize to you. And they secretly don't want to. Okay. Yeah, they don't want to apologize secretly. That's why they're in the hospital sick. If they're not in the hospital sick, they're spiritually sick. If they're not spiritually sick, they're emotionally sick. And if they're not emotionally sick, they're physically sick. They're sick. And they could be looking or thinking, looking at themselves going to the hospital. And some of you, this is a family member that you're not talking to. Family. I can't make this shit up. I'm telling you the truth. Some of you, this is your baby daddy. Some of this is this is your family. But it's also the energy of a relationship out here, too. So some of you, this could be a divorce going on. You could be uh, going to file some charges against your person. Here's some good luck right here. Here's a false mask. This person could smoke some sort of uh, sherm. <laughs> this person can can smoke wet, wet. Okay, you see how there's that smoke in their mouth and that... that Bright sun over their head. This is somebody who smokes something that it, it, it alters their ego. It alters their mind state. They could have seizures and shit. This could be either a Leo or a Pisces. Okay. It could be a Capricorn or a uh, Aries. Okay. Take it where it resonates. Somebody is having good luck. And see, when this person came into your life, you thought you had the best thing going on. This person treated you better than they treated anybody else. They treated you, this person, you felt like they treated you better than anybody else have treated you, okay? But they was holding secrets. You weren't expecting that. And they weren't expecting that they had to change. They weren't expecting for you to change. If you, some of you moved, some of you moved out from this person and now they sitting at home. If you was living with them, they sitting at home. You was the one who was washing their clothes, taking care of them and shit. Look, now he ain't even got no socks on. You ain't washed his socks or no drawers. Look at his clothes. It's, it's kind of tattered looking. He ain't went and got his hair cut. He ain't shaved and none of that shit. Okay? He handsome, but he looking fucked up right now. All right? He's sitting at home looking looking where, where you usually be in the kitchen cooking him something. He's sitting in that, he's sitting in the fucking chair. He didn't pull the dining room table chair, the, 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 the bar chair, the bar stool. He didn't pull that bar stool away from the table. 
away from the bar, and he just sitting there looking at the looking where you usually be. It's an invisible being of you. He can't see you no more. Now he's sitting there with this rose in his hand, wanting to apologize, but he really can't. He don't know if he should apologize or what. And it could be a fake ass apology. Okay. <clears throat> My press ons they came off. I'm gonna have to glue some on. Glue them back on again. Yeah, I can't afford to go to the nail shop. So, so I don't give a fuck. They fake. My nails grew out. But when I took the fake ones off, they, they broke right along with them. So. This is somebody thinking about you. That they could be thinking good about you or they could be thinking bad about you. They could be thinking about what they want to do to you, for you. Um, how to come thinking about how they're going to come towards you to apologize. They could be thinking of a way like not to have to apologize. Because this is somebody that you could have either ended it with. Now, this if it's not your energy, this could be your daughter's energy. Okay? If it's not your, your daughter's energy, it could be your son's. Or this could be your person's energy. Okay? On their side of their family or something. Two more spirit. Something came to the light. Mm-hmm. Somebody took a risk. It's a gambling energy. They took a risk <clears throat> and end up losing. Okay. And you have been enlightened. Illumin something has been illuminated. The secret. What's been illuminated for the collector? What's been illuminated? Oh, that this person has some money. What else been illuminated? This person, they had some money and they started acting sideways with you, but you found out. That could be why how you found out that they had some sort of money because they started acting sideways with you when it came to some sudden will. Some of you, this, this could be somebody you were living with and they moved out. They got some money and they moved out. This could be your child, got some, uh, some sort of sudden will, won a lottery, won something gambling or something. Somebody won. And see, they was hiding it from you. They didn't tell you, but some sort of way you found out. And this person upped and moved. This could be an Aquarius energy, and here's a Leo energy out here. And it's a Scorpio energy, and this person was trying to be sneaky. And see how this fox is looking back at what he's like, he didn't got away with something? He didn't got away with a gamble. He could have, he could have, uh. If he, it, okay, he could have. This, oh, okay, so somebody, somebody, somebody going to jail too, but somebody gambled and I feel like they, it's like they didn't give somebody another chance to win their money back. Or this is somebody thinking about that, thinking about the good luck they have. Oh, I'm going to have good luck if I be false. Okay, with this falseness, this, this, uh, false mask, this mask, somebody could be thinking how much good luck they have. If they trick people and they gamble and things or something. Something to do with gambling. Sudden wealth. Somebody is winning and not telling. They're keeping it hidden. Okay, Spirit, show me the energy surrounding this person. I'm starting to collect this. What is what is in the jail is out here? Somebody this this oh okay so somebody took some sort of risk or a gamble. This could be a family member for y'all. Okay, they took some sort of gamble. This the family down here. This your family. Okay, this is your family who you're not talking to. You see, that's your family who's been around you that's been being false. Okay. This person, apparently, they think they having some sort of good luck or you could be having good luck, having money and all of this. And they sit here thinking of ways that they can try to get it from you. Okay. Which is them trying to take a risk to be sneaky. And they looking back, 
See, this this what this 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 stupid ass fox when he when he don't realize what he's doing. Just look at the cards. Look at the cards. Look at the cards. Look how this fox. See, he looking back at, at, at how much he done won or a gamble he done took. But look where he headed. Look where the fuck he's headed. He going straight to jail. Okay, whatever he took a risk or a gamble, he won because it ain't in reverse. Confirmation. Okay, he going straight to jail. And you're going to find out about this. And this could be either a Leo energy or uh, Aquarius energy, a Scorpio energy. Okay? Some secrets. And they're going through a storm. Mm-hmm. They're about to go through a storm when it comes to some sort of wish. Okay? Confirmation again. Some of you better pass, change your passwords when you come to this person. This person is sick. They're not grounded. They're not creative. They don't have what they need to get along in life. So this is how this could be a, a it could be a, a spiritual prison that they're, they're running straight to. Okay, they could have took a gamble. Messing with somebody's luck, their well-being, and going straight to spiritual jail. Okay. Okay, spirit. Okay. Also, this this jail, some of you, they're not in literal, literal jail. Their jail is demand of others. The... Hold on, y'all. Okay, what was I saying? Something about the jail. I hate when that happens. Um, they're going, they're going, going straight towards prison, and they're under um, a spiritual attack. Wow, this this card ain't even supposed to be in this deck. Motherfucker, look at that. Now I didn't, I didn't put that card in here. I don't remember that. I mean, I know I put it in there, but I don't remember putting it in there. This is a snake. This is a fox, and they going to jail. He could be either a, a Scorpio, he could be a Leo, or he could be an Aquarius energy. Okay, this person is thinking they're getting away with some shit, but they don't know. They're going straight towards jail. We're going to see what's coming after jail. What comes after jail, Holy Spirit? When they when they go to jail, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna <laughs> ooh. <coughs> ooh. This person may pass away in jail. Or they as soon as they get out of jail, they or did mm, now this could this could mean that this person is in jail and they're gonna go through some sort of transformation. Now it could be a literal death or it could be a spiritual awakening or something. Maybe it's going to take for them to have to be in jail, in spiritual jail or something. If this is spiritual jail that they're in, then all of the shit that they're doing, the spirit is taking this shit to an end. It's ending it. Okay? Now, if they're in literal jail, this means this person could either come out and transition and become a new person or they're going to die for trying to be sneaky. So I'm going to stop right there. I done went 24 minutes long. So if this reading is resonating with you, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the Karmic Circus family. Peace out.